G'day YouTube. This is just a quick short video to show you guys what to do after first installing Ubuntu 13.10. Okay, now starting off. So, number one. First of all, what you want to do is update the software after you've installed the ISO. So, basically you want to upgrade Ubuntu. So, there's updates all the time. So, first of all, go to the uh, application menu here and then type in software Updater. There we go, that one there. Click on that. Let that run through its process. Shouldn't take too, too long. Um, when it decides to load up there. There we go, software updater. Pretty much just follow the prompts and just move on. It's, uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory from that point, but it's always great to update it, keep it up to the latest uh, versions and whatever of the distribution. Moving on, the second thing you want to do is go back to the applications menu and type in software again and you'll see it there, software and updates. And I think I've loaded that one earlier, so here we go. Now for number two, what you really want to do is select your download server so it's the fastest possible downloads for your uh, Ubuntu 13.10 because depending on the server it can be very very slow. So go to download from, go to other that load up, go to select best server and it will be testing all the servers and pretty much tell you which one of yours it is. It will generally be the ISP that you're currently on to. So I'm just going to cancel that for a second and get out of that. Cancel. Okay, moving on. The next thing you want is a firewall. Now, you might think firewall, why firewall? Well, Linux, or should I say Ubuntu, doesn't need antivirus, but it does still need a firewall. So, what I'll show you is a cool little firewall I downloaded that's uh, part of the Ubuntu repositories called uh, GUFW, which stands for GUI Ubuntu Firewall. So it's basically the inbuilt firewall uh, in the background of Ubuntu, except uh, it's the GUI version which I downloaded from the software center as you can see there, the Ubuntu software center. So click on this one. It's fairly straightforward. It blocks incoming connections and whatnot. You do need a password to run it, so make sure you're, you've got root access. And uh, that one should load up in just a moment. And uh, when it is loaded, you can uh, stop or start uh, or allow or disallow incoming connections for FTP, SSH, HTTP, whatever you want really. So there you go. You, meet, you need to turn it on though in order to get it working and then you uh, set up the rules as required. So that's that pretty much. Great, moving on. Number five, what you want to do is uh, set up Ubuntu so it's allowed to play uh, all sorts of media such as DivX, DVD and all of that. So what you actually need to do in this point is go to the terminal and type in uh, this next command prompt line I'm going to give you in order to actually uh, be able to display and run all sorts of videos. So it's not a lot of work, it's just one small line and it's sudo apt-get space install space Ubuntu restricted extras. So that's Ubuntu restricted extras. Hit enter, throw in your password, click yes to install. Mine's already installed, already the newest version as you can see. So from that point you can uh, not only play lots of videos but uh, use a lot of Windows fonts and even run Java and multimedia flash content. So that's really good to see. Great. Number six, what you want to do is set up keyboard shortcuts. So again, go to the applications menu, all you have to do is type in keyboard, there it is there, too easy. So we'll let that one load up for a second, and you might think keyboard shortcuts, well, that's kind of boring, but really it's uh, it's very helpful, it's, it's one of the best things, one of the most underutilized and most powerful things you can really do. So you go to the shortcuts tab, you click the plus icon, and you choose what you want. Uh, for example, if you want a shortcut to Firefox, you type in the command that you would use, Firefox, so you use that command in uh, in the terminal normally. Click apply, show it there. It's disabled currently from using a keyboard shortcut, but you click on it, it will say accelerate me or accelerometer, then type in control alt F for example. And there you go, that's all done. And you can do that for as many programs as you like, obviously. Now, 
What are we up to? Number seven. So VLC. Even though I showed you guys how to uh, get the multimedia codex before, what you actually still do want is VLC, the, the video player that plays pretty much anything. Now that's also available in the Ubuntu Software Center right there. But I'll uh, just quickly show you guys. So VLC, if you're not aware, it's the, the Witch's Cone Hat uh, icon for the application. So let that one load up. As I said, go to the software, the Ubuntu Software Center, and it will uh, install that one for you. Nice and dandy. Good. So moving on. Uh, number eight. There we go. There's VLC popping up there. Save and continue. Okay. So uh, number eight. What we want to do is talk a little bit about the scopes in Ubuntu right now. So this is uh, where the Ubuntu scopes are in the application menu. You'll find that it's actually a little bit annoying and that's what uh, number eight's all about. So you'll find you'll find you'll see that you'll find a lot of uh, Amazon content like purchase this on Amazon, if I were to type book it might come up with a book of sorts. I don't know. Let's have a look. It's not a really good search term to actually find a book. Here we go. Here's Amazon examples, or that's uh, Ubuntu One examples. You'll find a lot and a lot of uh, Amazon ones, though. So what you want to do is remove the scopes that you don't want to see. So go to the Applications menu down the bottom middle here, click Applications, and then scroll down a little bit. Then you'll see Dash Plugins. So remove the Dash Plugins that you don't want. So I'm going to click on Amazon, then I'm going to click on Disable. So there we go. So it's no longer going to show uh, examples of you know things that you can buy. So you can remove all the the nonsense out of Ubuntu if you want. All right. Now let's see. Last but not least, the Unity Tweak tool. Now I'll show you it first, then I'll show you how to download it later. So we've got Unity Tweak tool. There we go. Which is really cool because it helps you really customize all that is Ubuntu 13.10, especially this uh, this dash menu here, this Unity interface, and the launcher interface as you call it because it's right there. Click on launcher to change that, and what you want to do is change a lot of things about it. So let's have a look. Icon size, see if we can punch that up a little bit. Yep, see, so to the left it's uh, it's gone a lot bigger, but what I find most people want is to it to be a lot smaller. So clicking, 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 and there we go. That's much tinier. It leaves a lot more room on the screen. Also, you can have a custom background. Let's choose something a bit outrageous. Red, perfect. Select, and there you go. And then you can get out of that. Now, not only can you change the launcher, but also pretty much everything else you see here. Web apps, themes, icons, cursors, Windows control, Windows snapping, which is really good to, to have close out of that and if you click on the applications menu it will come up in a nice gradient like thing which is really really cool to see so that's pretty much it in a nutshell guys that is uh, the nine things you should do after first installing Ubuntu 13.10 it's a really great release it's got a lot of new cool features I might get into that later but uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell guys I hope you've enjoyed and uh, thanks for your time please subscribe and leave me a comment thanks guys ciao